So this is a, a turkey bacon avocado sandwich like from Neaters. If you've ever had Neaters of these sandwiches, it's so good. And it's my favorite on focaccia bread. You can choose your bread. Also is I get the rotisserie chicken from Costco that's already um, pulled off the bone. And I'll use a half a package of that per sheet. And then I'll, put, I'll get Havarti that's pre-sliced from Costco. Just get this stuff ready while it cools and we'll get going. Okay, so next we need to make our sauce. And so I make about, about a cup of mayonnaise, about a tablespoon of mustard, about two teaspoons of pickle juice, I don't measure, but I'm sorry. Um, about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of onion powder or onion salt. Today I'm doing onion salt. Do whatever you want. I like either, I like one of them to have salt. So either I'll use garlic salt and onion powder or onion salt and garlic powder. So whatever you have or none, doesn't really need it. And I just whisk that together. So then I get my focaccia bread. I actually put my focaccia bread on a cooling rack so it would cool and I don't like it to sit in the sheet pan because it gets soggy on the bottom. Okay, then you're gonna carefully, I've got this huge long serrated knife so it makes it a little bit easier, but it's not always perfect, so we just cut it in half. So I'm gonna end up putting my sauce on the top because this is all falling apart. So, here we go. If you don't trust yourself to do this, you can cut it into squares first and then, so maybe like a cup and a half of mayonnaise per big sandwich. I just like it to have lots of sauce on it. So I like to go in an order. This is a bag of rotisserie chicken that's already off the bone. So we call it a turkey bacon avocado because that's what Meters calls it, but I guess it's really chicken bacon avocado. <laughs> so I've used um, like sliced like lunch meat sent from turkey or ham, and you know what, you really can't tell the difference. People thought that it still tasted just like Meters. So whatever works for your budget, or it works for your liking, do that. So if you want to do cheese, you can do cheese. I've done both. I've done it with cheese, without cheese, and nobody can really, I'm not like, oh, I missed the cheese in it, or oh, the cheese is amazing. <laughs> just do whatever. So this is Havarti, which is just very mild cheese. I've done provolone before, and I feel like the provolone is just a little too strong. So, I've got that. Next, I like to do bacon. So this is pre-cooked Costco bacon and I just broil it in the oven. Then we sliced tomatoes. I'm gonna do onions just on top of it because not everybody likes onions, but I think it makes the flavors in the sandwich just pop. Okay, I'm hoping that this avocado is ripe enough. And I just, what I do with avocado is I just slice it on an angle, kind of following the shape of the avocado. And I just make these really thin slices, making sure not to cut myself. Then I get a spoon and go around the edges and it just comes out already sliced. Okay, then you, yeah, I just put lettuce, just a single layer of lettuce on these, whatever kind of lettuce you like. Then we just put the top on, like that. Oh, that's stupid. Then I cut it. So I like to cut it in 12 pieces first. So I just do it in thirds. And then I do it in fourths this way, right? 
Okay, then I like to get these long skewers and I put um I put them on two of the corners across from each other. And then I slice them in half. And this way I'm able to like pick them up and platter them, whatever. That's kind of messy and it does make a big mess on your counter for a little bit all of the fillings falling out a little bit. Not all of it, but. Okay. That is how I make my kneaders knock off with turkey bacon avocado on the ketchup. It's got all the filling in it. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. So, so good. Okay, there you have it. Thanks for watching, have fun cooking.